A school superintendent speaks out after allegations of bullying. Earlier today, News 10 told you about claims that Vigo County Superintendent Danny Tenuse, quote, bullied members of the Tarot Chamber of Commerce. Now, after a school board meeting, News 10's Rondrell Moore explains Tenuse is firing back. Rondrell? Yeah, Mark Patrice, at tonight's school board meeting, this letter was never brought up by the board nor by Superintendent Tenuse. But it was afterward that Tenuse blasted the writer's credibility. The letter in question was written by Indiana Chamber of Commerce President Kevin Brenniger. He said Tenuse pressured the local Chamber of Commerce to openly denounce House Bill 1002 and 1003. Those bills involve state funding for charter schools. The letter claims Tenuse threatened to have businesses boycotted if they didn't go against the bills. In a phone interview, Brenniger even told News 10 to news threatened members with families who worked in the school district saying their jobs could be at risk. I had a conversation with Danny Tenuse just a few hours ago and he flatly denied all these claims saying, quote, the allegations involving employees and teachers and contracts with the school corporation are false and untrue. He adds Mr. Brenniger's letter is filled with misinformation and untruths. Furthermore, Tenuse told me that the school district is part of the local chamber of commerce and that they have a good working relationship. He says at no point has he met or even spoken with Kevin Brenniger or the State Chamber of Commerce in recent days. He went on by challenging the state to provide solid evidence of their accusations. Now at tonight's school board meeting, the letter was never discussed, but one school board member voiced his support for Tanoos. I've always uh, known you to approach the issues very professionally. I appreciate the way that you conduct yourself and that you, uh, you know, when you represent uh, School corporation represents this board, too, and I appreciate that. I spoke with board president Alpha Patel as well. She didn't want to be interviewed, but she said that the issue has, quote, been resolved and that no further action will be taken. Now, what the board did discuss was the issue of charter schools. They announced that the Beagle County Council drafted this letter to send to Indiana State legislators. The letter says the council is against House Bill 1002 and 1003 alongside Beagle County schools. That they feel that it will be detrimental to the Vigo County School Corporation if this kind of legislation is passed in total. Now, we want to know your thoughts on the debate for charter schools and the recent allegations of bullying. Let us know what you think by going to our Facebook page. Patrice, back to you. Thank you, Rondra.